Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, we have a MacBook Air here that does not want to take a charge. We accidentally let the battery die so bad to where we haven't charged it for several days. So it's at 0%. The best we could get this thing to charge up to is 1%. I'll show you right over here in the corner of the screen. And as you can see here, it says battery is not charging. And also if you click on this little battery icon, it says condition. For the battery, it says replace now. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the battery. We actually bought a kit. It's supposed to come in a few days. All right, the battery kit finally came in for the MacBook Air. Again, if you wanna check out the best price for a battery replacement, just check out the link down below and you'll be able to find the best deals on these battery replacements. Plus at checkout, you'll get a 10% coupon as well. But um, I love this kit because it comes with everything you need. You get your screwdrivers, some extra screws here. You get some rubber feet, they go on the back of the MacBook Air. You get a protective keyboard and your instruction manual. And of course, most importantly, your battery replacement. It's right here. This is where it actually connects. And then this is the actual battery right here. Take it out. That's what it looks like from the front. And that's the bottom. So we'll show you what it looks like after everything is installed and see if it'll actually take a charge. So the very first step into doing the battery replacement is to remove all 10 of these screws that you see here on the edge of your MacBook Air. There are 10 of them and you're just gonna use this little tool right here to remove all the screws. I'm not sure if I can focus on it for you there, but this is the tool. Next, once you have all the screws taken off, make sure you organize them. The two screws at the very top are actually longer than all the rest of the screws, so make sure you take note of that so you don't put them in the wrong hole. Those two long screws go right here and right here. But the next step is to go ahead and remove the back of the cover. So you're gonna grab off to the left corner over here, and then you're just gonna kind of pull it up, and then it'll come right off. And there's the battery. This is what the case part looks like on the inside. This is the back of it. So here's an instruction manual. We're trying to install a A1496, which is this replacement battery right here. As you can see here, this one's also A1496. All right, so here's the replacement battery just being dry fitted. This is a brand new battery on top of the old one. I just wanna show you how everything lines up perfectly. And then here is the old one. Next step is to go ahead and pull on this tab. So I went ahead and pulled the tab here to disconnect the battery from the terminal. As you can see, that's what it looks like right there. And then I went ahead and unscrewed all five screws and you can see them right over here in the same exact layout. So there's two right here, one here, two right here. And basically the two tops and the middle are the longest. And then these are short screws at the bottom. All right, I have the new battery in place. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in first by taking this tab and sticking it inside here. So you just push it in just to seat it, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in all five screws. So from here on out, all you have to do is a reverse installation, go and put the cover back on. All right, about 20 minutes later, we're all done with the install. It's really simple, plug and play. As you can see here, the battery is actually charging. Um, as soon as we plugged it in, it was at about 55%. Now charging it for about three minutes we're about 59 percent and it's saying it's going to take about an hour and 57 minutes to charge to full as you can see here now it's at 60 percent as i'm talking with you and also it doesn't say to replace the battery anymore so i'm gonna check back with you in a little bit once this gets to 100 percent and do a few more tests and see how it goes but i'm really happy now that i don't have to keep it plugged in for it to take a charge because before it wouldn't take any charge i had to basically leave it plugged in with the adapter to get it to work. All right, the battery's taking a really good charge. It's at 100% now, as you can see over here in the corner. Tap on that. It no longer says needs to replace battery or won't take charge. It actually takes a charge now and it's at 100%. And even the charger went from a orange indicator to green. So I can actually disconnect it without it dying now. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick little video on how to install and replace your battery and your Mac Air. If you want to check out the best price for your make and model, just check out the links down in the description below. But if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.